the most obvious difference between viruses and bacteria is size. Uh, to us, a single bacterium might be pretty small, maybe a thousandth of a millimetre. But to a virus, they're looking fairly large. If we scale things up, and uh, it took a typical virus to be the size of a suitcase, in which case a bacterium would be the size of a van. And the comparison doesn't end there. Just like this van is a fully functioning machine with uh, different working parts for specific jobs like wheels, engine, fuel pump, windscreen, etc., so too is a bacterium. It's a self contained unit with a wall around it and all the biological machinery of a living cell. Whereas a virus just has a thin protein coat. Inside, it's practically empty, no machinery of its own, just a string of genetic material, like DNA, like, in fact, an instruction manual. Alone, it can do nothing. It has to hijack a living cell and turn it to its own purposes. It's only by using something else's biological machinery that a virus can repeatedly clone itself before bursting out and infecting countless more cells in a destructive chain reaction. These essential differences mean that we have to use very different weapons for fighting viruses and bacteria. Of course, one big weapon in a doctor's toolkit or medicine bag is uh, antibiotics. There are several different types of antibiotics, and because they work in subtly different ways, it means they're a tremendously versatile drug. Some antibiotics, like the famous penicillin, work by rupturing the bacteria. Bacteria need to grow in size before they divide, but penicillin prevents a crucial dividing wall from forming. Unable to split in two, the bacteria keep swelling until they burst like a balloon. What almost all antibiotics have in common is the ability to cripple a particular function of the bacterial cell. Now, there are many ways of doing this. With so many parts to attack, antibiotics can disable bacteria in many different ways. Whereas with a virus, there's nothing to disable. This is just the wrong tool for the job, which is why antibiotics are useless for viruses. So, unless you have a bacterial infection, there is no point your doctor prescribing antibiotics. And nine times out of ten, with coughs and colds, it's a virus that's causing the problem. Drugs to combat viruses work in a totally different way. Most antiviral drugs need to physically block the virus from getting into or out of the cell it needs in order to replicate. That should do it. It seems hard to believe that only a generation ago, many bacterial infections were fatal. A scratch on the knee could kill. We rightly celebrate new medical breakthroughs, cancer treatments, for example, that extend lives by months or even years. But antibiotics we seem to take for granted, even though they save lives, not just extend them, every single day. They are truly impressive.